Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I thought I'd repeat a song for you uh, that I've given to you before. But I've tried it on some other sorts of situations and I thought you might like to know. It works for all kinds of astral beings that may appear to be a little bit scary, such as uh, Satan in all his forms. Um, it works for all the astral negative beings. It, it, it works for um, subtle sorcerers and negative enchanters and uh, people, uh, people who are disembodied who were black magickers. It works for the thuggy cults that are disembodied and have not yet found human form and are unlikely to under the current situation. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, it, it, it also works for the beings that hover over hybrids and antisocial personalities, which are very bad sorts of astral beings. And so it gives those people a rest from the constant torment of that kind of association. It also works on the jinn, and uh, I expect also on the afrit uh, that inhabit the desert regions of Earth. And it's a very simple song that was taught me by a young person, less than three years of age, who was very much in touch with God and with the spirit realm. It goes like this. May the air fall asleep. 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 Like that. And uh, you can also use it for um, in a lower tone like this if your voice is lower. May the air fall asleep. 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 You see? Or even lower. You could start, if you had a very low voice, you could start it very low as well. All right. Uh, it's important to keep the chest relaxed while you're singing it. Do you feel that the angels are all around you and that and that the song that you're singing is like the song that a, a young child would sing to his baby sister lying in the crib, okay? A very sweet and innocent song.